worship, um, as we were praying during worship, I was hearing these words, that which I have done, that will I do again. And so I don't know who needs to hear this, but I believe the Lord is telling somebody today that that which I have done, that I will do. He is the God of renewing. He is the God that is going to take whatever it is that is broken in you and cause it to be healed. I believe the Lord wants somebody to hear today that he is restoring what the canker worms have taken away. He is restoring in your heart the things that have been quenched by the enemy. The Lord is saying that which I have done, that I will do again. So trust that God is with you. Trust that he is restoring you. He is the God of restoration and he shall do it for he is faithful. Amen. to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in my weakness with great fear and trembling. My message and preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's power. We do, however, speak a message among the nature but not with the wisdom of his age or, the f or of rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. No, we declare God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden, that God has testified for our glory before time began. None of, none of the rulers of our age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what, has, what, has, what no eye has seen, what no, eye, what no ear has heard, and of what no human mind has conceived. The things the Lord has prepared for those who love him, these are the things that God has revealed to us by his spirit. The spirit searches all things, even deep things of God, for who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them. In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what the God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught us by the human wisdom, but in words taught by the spirit. Explaining spiritual realities with the spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the spirit. The person with the spirit makes judgments about all things, but such a person is not subject to merely human judgments. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Amen. your word comes to us. We beg of you that your word would come to perform the purpose for which you sent your word. Speak through me as a vessel to bring your rhema to your church. In Jesus' Christ's name I have prayed. Amen. I was not meant to be preaching today. It was meant to be our Deaconess Amma, but unfortunately, she took ill, and our district secretary asked me to stand in for her. So my message to God's people is such a short one, after which our elder, David Yamwa, would lead us time of prayer. Hallelujah. God bless you always, divine praise. And I always do say that anytime I come to church and there happen to be no preaching, insofar as 
I share in the administration, I'm good to go for the week. Hallelujah. And I would want to encourage us to do all that we can to bless this ministry in a very special way. Hallelujah. I do tell them that they are the ones who bring the presence of God into our midst. And if you get to know their activities all through the week, they are great sacrifices. It is not easy. But I want to bless God on account of all that you have done in his name and you continue to do in his name. And he will reward you beyond measure, even beyond your comprehension, because he knows you by name. Hallelujah. So please, anything that the Lord lays upon your heart to do to bless this ministry or any other ministry in the church, do well so to do. Because it is the Spirit of God who is going to cause you to will and to do that. Amen. When I was asked to preach, and um, usually in my car is the only time I listen to music. And when I was listening to that gospel music, I'm very poor with words of the songs, but even the rhythm alone kills me off. The word that dropped in my spirit was, mind the gap. And I said, but what has mind the gap got to do with me trying to be in the spirit whilst I drive to work? And it was after I've had, I've had the conversation with Elder Michael that I had to preach. So I said, the Holy Spirit may be bringing me to minding the gap and preaching about mind the gap. And I was able to connect with mind the gap straight away because I remember my first experience of arriving in the UK was when I heard the word mind the gap. I don't blame you if you've never heard mind the gap before because it means you've not been a Londoner before. We don't have the tube in Birmingham. So please, if you don't know mind the gap, I will educate you on mind the gap. I was meant to meet one of my friends at a favorite um, Chinese place in Elephant and Castle. And I love Chinese. And he decided to take me to a different restaurant. And he said, Leslie, pick the train from wherever you were. I had gone to finish my cleaning job somewhere, West End. And he said, get onto the district line to come to Elscourt. So I thought, Maybe there is another Chinese in Elscourt. That was my first time of getting on the tube. And the announcement bellowed. Please mind the gap. Mind the gap between what? Please, each of you who responded, Elder Fred will give you a tenner after church. Please mind the gap between the train of your life. This train is making stops at designated stations. There are times when this train would stop and you have to come over it and other new people would do or join on. Let me continue my story about getting lost. Apparently, the service I got took me to the opposite direction. And I said, is this the way Nyami Ejuma is? I was meant to go to Elscott, but district line took me to, is it uh, Upminster? You know, east, yeah? Where it, it, it terminates. My friend couldn't reach me on phone because the mobile phone doesn't work underground, is it? Yeah? So in the end, I got lost. And then I found my way back. When I got to Elscott and I met my friend, anyone know, who knows Elscott, on the, on the right hand side, once you come out of the tube station, there is a beggar king there. Yeah? Me, I don't do salad. I don't do those sort of. But that's what my friend took me to, and I was very disappointed. 
my first proper meal in the UK, Chinese and Chinese turns into Burger King. And what he had ordered for me, I didn't know the name. And it was something very big with, I don't know whether salad, vegetable. I said, ah, let's look at the Nikwe, a girl from Usin Accra, going to eat this. In fact, I was very angry. But one thing I took out of it was the mind the gap. That was just an aside. Mind the gap. Now, my word for you today is, as a soldier of Christ, you need to be minding the gap. Hallelujah. This whether you like it or not, we've been conscripted into the army of God. You are a fighter in the army of God. Deaconess Marie said, we are not here to spectate. We are here for action. Hallelujah. And the word action is synonymous to what soldiers do. There is a gap. And there is an army that you belong to. And this army, Elder Fred, when he was leading the Bible study, said, we have a commander. And must you not go by the dictates of the commander? As a soldier of Christ, mind the gap. How many of us believe that life is war? And that life is not fanfare? Life is proper war. You believe in it or not believe in it does not negate that truth. Whether you choose to fight the war or you don't fight the war, the war is coming at you. Hallelujah. This is because you have been saved by the blood of Jesus. So the evil one has sworn to do all that he can to eliminate you. We heard the last time that we always fight from a position of advantage where we are fighting from victory. Correct? We are not fighting for the victory because the victory has already been closed on the cross of Golgotha. But we are fighting from victory and we fight in victory. Now what the Lord wants his church to know about and anyone who is watching us live, wherever you are on this planet, life isn't fanfare. Life is war. And you must fight. You are in the army of Christ. And there are things that we need to be doing as soldiers of the cross of Christ. And so the key text will be from 2 Timothy 2, 3 to 4, 4, 7 to 8. I'll be snappy about this and then we'll zoom into prayers. And I read. Second Timothy two one downwards. All right. Now I'm reading from the the message translation. This is Paul writing to Timothy. He says, So my son, throw yourself into this work for Christ. Please throw yourself into the work of God. In our Bible study, we said we all have active roles to play. You needn't be an ordained person to do anything. Your dancing alone, as marvelous as dance, we can do for you. It can bring healing to somebody. So please, be active in the church. Pass on what you heard from me, the whole congregation, saying amen, to reliable leaders who are competent to teach others. When the going gets rough, Take it on the chain with the rest of us, the way Jesus did. 
A soldier on duty doesn't get caught up in making deals at the marketplace. He concentrates on carrying out orders. An athlete who refuses to play by the rules would never get anywhere. It's the diligent farmer who gets the produce. Think it over. God will make it all plain. Fix the picture firmly in your mind. Jesus descended from the line of David, raised from the dead. It's what you've heard from me all along. It's what I'm sitting in jail for right now. With our being conscripted into the army of God, challenges are going to come our way. Some of us may be locked away. It may not be a physical HM prisons. It may be the prison of doubt. It may be the prison of unbelief. It may be the prison of faithlessness. It may be the prison of sin. But what made Paul who he was was he was at his best even when he appeared to be at his lowest. Who enjoys writing scrolls in prison? He said that he was sitting in jail right now, but God's word is not in jail. That is why I stick it out here, so that everyone calls, everyone God calls will get in on the salvation of Christ in all its glory. And this is a sure thing. If we die with him, we will live with him. If we stick it out with him, he will rule with him. If we turn our backs on him, he will turn his back on us. If we give up on him, he does not give up. For there is no way he can be false to himself. Hallelujah. A few points and then I will sit. What are you expected to do in the line of your conscription in the army of Christ? First of all, as a soldier, from what I have read, the verse 2, the chapter 2, verse 3 says, you need to be who? A follower. A proper soldier will be one who is a follower. A follower of the dictates, of the commands of God. Hallelujah. Are you following Christ without looking left or right? Or you are picking and choosing what you want to follow Christ on? Or are you allowing anything to dilute the commands of God? Or you are going by his dictates and his commands purely just as they are. Number two, a soldier of God or of Christ is one who is known by the name faithful. Is faithfulness about your name? Are you faithful in what you do for God? If you see a soldier, you see that soldiers don't joke. If they have to look this way, that is the only way they will look. But now, because of the abandoned freedom in the new covenant, we think we can get away. Looking here, and then looking here, 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 here. Morning, evening, afternoon. Number three. A soldier is someone who is familiar with his commander, who is familiar with what job he's got on hand to do. Hallelujah. Are you familiar with, God is, with God, what God is bidding you to do in his church? Are you familiar with what ministry God wants you to serve in his church? The next one is, a soldier is a fighter. 2 Timothy 4, 7 talks about it. You are a fighter. We are engaged in this war of faith so that we can lay hold on the life eternal, which is found only in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You need to fight. If you decide not to fight, the war would overrun you. 
you need to take your stand. We are not fighting with knives and machetes. We are fighting in the power and the might of God. Hallelujah. You need to be determined to be a fighter. You need to be driven in your fight and contending for your faith. You need to be dedicated to your calling. Hallelujah. And the last one, not the least, a soldier in the army of Christ is a finisher. Hallelujah. If you begin with your dedication, with your followership, with your obedience, and you don't finish all that you have done, who is a fancy here? Fancy. One of the few things I learned in Cape Coast during my schooling days is as a ginger. It's it, 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 it's for nothing, yeah? So please, if you start, you need to finish and finish what? Well. Hallelujah. Now it is time for us to stay in our domain within the regiment that the Lord had called us to in his army. They are those who break down the walls with their worship, with their praise. Your sweeping is what is keeping us safe and well inside of here. Your substance is what is taking the word of God abroad on missions. We all have a role to play. In finishing, I am charging you as a soldier in the army of God that you would raise up the banner of Christ over your life, over your ministry, over your academics, over your careers, over your finances, over your marriages, over every aspect of your life. Raise up the banner of Christ. Wear with honor the badge of honor that Christ has bestowed upon you because he has purchased you with his blood. Some of us, wherever we go to or some of the places we go to, we cover our badge. We, are even, we even feel shy for people to know that we identify with Christ. This word is coming to you to say, as a soldier of the cross of Christ, let the world know that you belong to him. Hallelujah. Proudly wear your badge of honor. You see the military and the police, their name is there. Like if I were to be in the army, let's look at it and they will put and below it a gun from Osu in Accra. That is what is identifying me. But some of us, we go to places and we cover it so we are not seen. But I'm here to tell you and to charge you that God wants you to take a stand for him. He wants you to raise high the banner of Christ over your life and over everything about you. Wear that badge of honor with pride. I've never seen an army man who is weak and not proud of wearing that uniform. Hallelujah. Now, if you belong or you choose to belong to the other army, as I said in my, in my, the other time I preached here, that army does not want you. You are forcing yourself into that army. They don't want you. They already know that you are marked with the blood of Christ. So if you decide to force yourself to be in the devil's army and you happen to get in there, destruction awaits you because they know that you are coming in as what? A spy. Hallelujah. I pray that you would wear this crown of righteousness above your head. It is about you learning to understand that you have been conscripted in the army of God. And so be a follower. Be faithful. Be familiar with the voice of God. Be a fighter for your faith. And finish and finish and finish well. Hallelujah. 
Deacon Ike, could you project my hymn on the board for me so I can finish? Onward, Christian soldiers, marching us to war. This is a very loaded hymn. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching us to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. The cross of Jesus is going before us. Christ is the royal master, leads against our enemy, the foe. Forward into battle, see his banner go. Next stanza. This is the refrain. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching us to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. I'll be pleased if um, the words will be projected from the stanza one to the last. So you can help us even as I have brought my message to a close. What I'm leaving you with is you are in God's army. He has conscripted you into his army. You are meant to be a follower. You are meant to be faithful. You are meant to be familiar with his voice. You are meant to fight and contend for your faith. And to finish and to finish well. May God add his blessings to his word. Amen. Girls Brigade, um, I think this would be a good song if you will. Because uh, <laughs> I remember when we were in primary school, um, we used to be marching with this sort of song. And as we are getting older, we, when, when you hear the lyrics in the, in the song, you still remember those days. And it sort of refreshes what they, they did to us in those days. Hallelujah. Our elders said, a lot of profound things and all those things if we have to mind the gap we need somebody because life is hard and that person that we need is the sweet Holy Spirit this week we've been talking about the Holy Ghost conference and to, to wrap up and to be in line with this message and the prophecy that our sister brought we need somebody. And that person is the sweet Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, you will struggle in life. He is our comforter. 
He is the person that intercedes for us all the time. We need him in our lives. So we are going to pray. The Holy Spirit of God come into my life. In all our weaknesses. You know, I have weaknesses. But we need the Holy Spirit. I don't know about you, but I have weaknesses. But I need the Holy Spirit to come into my life and to strengthen me. The battle of the mind, the battle of the world is hard. And as a soldier of God, to be faithful, to finish the race, you need the sweet Holy Spirit. When Jesus was going, he said, I will send you another comforter. He is the one that will comfort you. He is the one that will bring you peace of mind. I want you to be on your feet. And I want you to cry unto the God of Israel. I want you to cry unto him that God, let your spirit of God fill me. Let every weakness that I'm not able to finish the race, may you empower me this moment. May I experience you in a different direction. I want you to lift your voice wherever you are and begin to pray within yourself. Don't give up. Begin to pray. Battle within yourself that sweet Holy Spirit. Regenerate within me. Empower me. Give me strength. Give me strength. Give me strength to fight the battle of this world. The battle of the mind. The battle of difficulties encountering me. Begin to pray. Begin to lift your voice that God, I have come to you just as I am. Just as I am. I have come to you. I have come to you just as I am, oh Lord. I have come to you this moment. I pray for your strength. I pray for your power to deal with the difficulties of life. As a soldier, I have come to you, God. I have come to you, God. This moment, oh God, I pray, Lord. I pray, Lord. I have come to you. I have come to you. My God, my Lord. My God, my Lord. Your people are before you. Lord, your people are before you. May you give me strength in the name of Jesus. Grant me strength. Grant me power. Grant me power. Grant me power to deal with the difficulties of life. Oh God, I have come to you. Lord, I have come to you. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. I have come to you. May you enable me. You are the enabler. May you enable me to fight the fight. To fight the cause of life. To fight the difficulty of life. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. I am before you. All my weaknesses, so God. All my weaknesses. I have come to you. I have come to you. I have come to your throne of grace. May you seal me, O oh God. May you seal me, O oh God. May you seal me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lebra seka bandala bahatale. Reketa bandala baha. May you grant me wisdom. Hallelujah. To be able to mind the gap, you need wisdom. You need revelation. You need power. Hallelujah. And this is all given by the Holy Spirit. If you read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 to 11, he says, These are the things that God has revealed to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who knows a person's thought except their own spirit within them. It's the same way. No one knows the thought of God except the spirit of God. Hallelujah. It's the Holy Spirit. It's a source of revelation, of wisdom, and of power. Brethren, we are going to pray. To be able to mind the gap, to be able to be faithful, we need the revelation of God. Revelation about your future. Revelation. He knows
knows where you are going to be within the next five, ten years. And I want you to engage your spirit with the spirit of God. Oh God, where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? Where is my next move? I pray that you reveal to me that I'll know the steps I need to take. I want you to engage yourself in prayer right now. Begin to lift your voice in prayer. That, oh God, Holy Spirit of God, you are the source of revelation. You are the source of knowledge. You are the source of wisdom. May you grant it to me in the name of Jesus. May you grant me wisdom. May you grant me understanding. May you grant me vision. May you grant me revelation in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in prayer. Lift your voice in prayer. Cry unto him. He is the source. He is the source of power. Lord, you are my source of power. Lord, you are the source of power. You are the source of power. You are the source of power. May you grant me power. May you grant me revelation. May you grant me wisdom. May you grant me wisdom. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. This afternoon I am before you. I am before you, God. Lebra Seta Yandeleva. Reketa Baba Brande. Reketa Bandala Bahatali. Rasata Baba Brandeleva. Holy Ghost. 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 Lebra Seta Yandeleva. Rakata Baba Brandeleva. Reseta Bandala Baha. Reseta Bandala Baha. Rakapa Bandalaba, you know the deep things, you know the deep things, you know the deep things, you know the deep things of God. May you reveal, may you pour, may you pour. Le Bandalaba Hatali Brandalaba, Rakata Bandalaba, Reketa Bandalaba, Reketa Bandalaba, Habrande, Leketa Bandalaba, Reketa Banda, Reketa Banda Heta, Reketa Banda. Rekatanda yande, rakata bandala ba, rekatanda yanda la ba, eta yanda la ba, zeta ba, rekata bandala ba, reta yanda la ba, holy brass eta yanda la ba, rekata bandala ba, rekata banda, rekata banda, reseta bandala ba, rekata yanda la ba, reseta bandala ba, holy gosa, holy gosa, leben kata bandala ba, reseta bandala banda. Reke banda le ba hata le ba, reke ta banda la ba, reke ta banda hata, reke ta yanda le ba, reke ba yanda la ba. Begin to work in me, begin to work in me. Holy Ghost, work in my mind, work in my thought. Le ba se ta banda la ba, reke ta ba yanda le ba, reke ta ba. May you take any negativity, reke ta yanda le ba, reke ta yanda le ba, le ba yanda la ba.
as we are mining the gap, we are going to stand in the gap for our families, our parents, our children, our siblings. We are standing in the gap for them. You know, life is hard and it takes prayer to change things. You know, sometimes when you hear people having accidents, are they not children of God as well? But it is only God that can navigate you through life. And we are praying for our church family, people that are going through difficulties, that, oh God, we stand in the gap for them. May you restore them. May you provide for them. May you empower them. May you strengthen them in the name of Jesus. Begin to lift your prayer. Those that are going through difficulties of sorrow, of hurt, Lord, may you restore them. May you restore them. May you restore them. Sweet Holy Spirit, you are the regenerator. You are the restorer. You are the empower. You are the source of truth. You are the source of power. Your church before you. My family before you. I want you to sit down quietly as we are in prayer mode. As we patiently sit down and we wait on God. Allow God to work in you. Break chains in our lives. Strengthen every crooked places in our lives. Make things straight in our lives, oh God. Make things clearer in our lives, oh God. The path of our lives, oh God. The path of our lives, oh God. Give us strength. Any feeble hands, oh God, may you give them strength. Any weak hands, may you give them strength. Any person that is going through hurts, oh God, may you give them strength. Those that have lost directions in life, Bring them back home, O oh Lord. Bring them back home. Bring them back home. Bring them back home, O oh Lord. Your church before you. Those that are having any sickness. Lord, you said by your stripes you are healed. We speak healing into the lives of your church. We speak healing into the life of your church. Any chronic disease. Lord, you said in your word. Is anything too hard for me? Your church before you. You are the restorer of our lives. May you restore your people. Those that are in bereavement to God. May you restore them. Give them strength to fight the battle of life. We bless you in Jesus' name. Let us in, say a big amen. amen. I will praise the Lord. You and I will praise the Lord. You and I, you and I, you and I, you and I, you and I will praise the Lord. See you and I.